I am Dr. Shaikat. Today I will discuss about VSD, ventricular septal defect. So what is VSD? So this is a schematic diagram of the heart. This is left ventricle, right ventricle. In between the left ventricle and right ventricle, there is an interventricular septum. If there is any defect or hole or any opening in this interventricular septum or in this wall that separates the two ventricles, then it is called ventricular septal defect. And this ventricular septal defect is an acyanotic congenital heart disease and the shunt is left to right shunt. Why there is left to right shunt? I'll discuss everything gradually. Now, what are the types of VSD? So there are four types of VSD, perimembranous VSD, muscular or trabecular VSD, AV canal type VSD or inlet VSD and subarterial or outlet VSD. To understand these classifications of VSD, we need to know the parts of ventricular septum. There are several parts or regions of the ventricular septum and we need to know that to understand these types. So this is the ventricular septum and this ventricular septum has four parts or four regions membranous part muscular part inlet part and outlet part and if there is any defect in this membranous part then this defect is called peri membranous VSD and if there is any defect in the muscular part then it is called muscular VSD or trabecular VSD and if there is any defect in the inlet part then it is called inlet VSD or there is another name for inlet VSD that is AV canal type AV canal type VSD and if there is any defect in this outlet portion of this ventricular septum then it is called outlet VSD or subarterial type VSD so these are the four types of VSD perimembranous VSD muscular VSD or trabecular VSD inlet VSD and outlet VSD now the pathophysiology of VSD Now in VSD there is a gap or opening in the interventricular septum so that there is communication between left ventricle and right ventricle. Now we know that in the left ventricle there is more pressure than the right ventricle so that there is a pressure gradient between these two ventricles. 
and blood follows that gradient so that from the left ventricle blood goes to the right ventricle so there is left to right shunt and VSD is usually asinotic congenital heart defect now why asinotic as because left ventricle contains oxygenated blood right ventricle contains deoxygenated blood so oxygenated blood is going to the deoxygenated blood so there is no problem only there is volume overload but no cyanosis usually but when pulmonary vascular resistance rises above the systemic vascular resistance at that time shunt reverses what does it mean it means that whenever there is rv overload and whenever there is excessive pulmonary hypertension at that time development of pulmonary obstructive disease so that pulmonary vascular resistance develops and shunt reverses so from left to right this shunt becomes right to left shunt whenever the shunt reverses and the shunt becomes right to left shunt then it is called Eisenmenger syndrome at that time deoxygenated blood is going to the oxygenated blood mixing with the oxygenated blood so that left ventricle is getting deoxygenated blood which is going to the whole body that's why cyanosis occurs if there is development of Eisenmenger syndrome in VSD now the clinical features of VSD VSD may be asymptomatic and there may be growth retardation, there is shortness of breath, there is uh, repeated respiratory tract infections and dyspnea on exertion, fatigue and cyanosis if there is development of Eisenmenger syndrome from VSD. Now what are the signs of VSD? So, in case of signs of VSD, there is prominent apex bit, systolic thrill at left parasternal area, pansystolic murmur based at a tricuspid area, and if shunt reverses, there is central cyanosis, clubbing, and features of heart failure. Now, what are the investigations and treatment of VSD? So, in the investigation, the first one is ECG. In ECG, if it is small defect, we may get normal ECG and in case of larger defects, we may get left atrium and left ventricle enlarged. And in case of chest x-ray, we may get enlarged pulmonary trunk, left atrium enlarged, left ventricle enlarged and increased pulmonary vascular markings. And in case of echocardiogram, we will get left atrium, left ventricle dilated and visualization of the defect and color Doppler demonstrates the flow through it. So now what are the treatment of VSD? There are medical treatment and surgical treatment. So in the medical treatment, no exercise restriction in the absence of pulmonary hypertension. If there is no pulmonary hypertension, no need to restrict the exercise of that baby. Maintenance of good oral and dental hygiene and chest infections and congestive cardiac failure should be treated if present and proper nutrition is maintained and for surgical treatment older infants with larger vsd should be operated immediately but once eisenmenger syndrome develops with significant pulmonary hypertension that time surgery is contraindicated 
so this is all about vsd hope you like this video and give your feedback in the comments below and subscribe this channel for the next videos thank you